Let's try to define the problem. In current days, uh, goods need to travel long distances, and it can be very valuable information to track the condition of every asset during transit. Asset tracking refers to a very broad range of use cases, from monitoring shipping containers, parcels, luggage, food, medicines, tools, and utensils, to livestock and pets. Basically, we refer to any method of tracking physical assets from the simplest approach scanning barcode labels attached to the asset various inspection point to using uh, tags uh, with various technologies like GPS, BLE, or RFID along with cellular uh, ultra-wide uh, network connecting like LoRa and Sigfox. Outdoor real-time monitoring applications like containers, e-bikes, or scooter, or fleet management require the most investment in technology with real-time positioning and wide area band connectivity. Industrial logistics on the other end, like pallets, luggage, smart parcels, and good guarantee, like cold chain application or medical shipment, might require a lower cost solution and still a fairly smart sensor, in most cases reusable. Uh, while cell application like personal letters or packages or parcels handling hardly can justify a substantial cost for the service and would require a one-time disposable solution. Let's take a look at how, from the technology standpoint, does our solution align. Uh, the requirements uh, and the requirements on each type of asset tracking solution. Our goal here is to make all of these applications somehow smarter and to choose the optimal set of processing, sensors, connectivity, and power management for the task. Let's start with the sensing technology. Let's say a container uh, contains perishable food. In that case, temperature and humidity are definitely relevant. But motion sensors can also play a big role. Imagine the same container now containing fragile objects. The smart tracker will need to sense if the container is not handled correctly or even drop down and will be able to record the event. A possible approach from the technology standpoint is to use an embedded function of our accelerometers to automatically detect a free fall or a shock and alert the main processing unit, usually a microcontroller, to record the event. Outdoor real-time monitoring would also require position information with GPS to complete the what, when, and where of any event. Another interesting technique applicable to industrial logistics is the use of a barometer in conjunction with an accelerometer and dedicated algorithms that can be used to identify taking off or landing if a cargo is on a plane. The functional block of an asset tracker are listed here on top. ST is uniquely positioned to offer for some of the solutions all the components along with turnkey evaluation platforms. Using the ST evaluation board is an effective way to jumpstart your design for an asset tracker application. In this presentation, we'd like to focus on the two highlighted use cases, a simple NFC dynamic tag with multiple sensors and an higher BLE sensor node with multiple sensors also implemented with the sensor title box that we discussed previously. And this is pretty much in line with the, uh, the results of the polling. I'd like to highlight, there were some questions on GNSS, that these two devices do not have GNSS on board, but can use a, a companion phone application uh, geolocation information. Instead, the LoRa tracker uh, that you also see in this slide does have on board our Teseo Live 3F based GNSS positioning and geofencing module. The Sigfox tracker, on the other hand, uses GNSS location and low energy devices location services provided by the, the Sigfox infrastructure. Let's start with the NFC dynamic sensor tag, which can be used, for example, to track parcels and packages, cold chain and medical asset tracking. The software package supports energy harvesting enabled by NFC and battery operated use cases and runs on an ultra low power STM32 L0 microcontroller. On this board, there are motion and environmental sensors, an ultra low power accelerometer that can be used to detect motion, for example, if the package is dropped or moved, a digital temperature and humidity sensor to detect environmental condition, and a barometer pressure sensor that can be used in conjunction with the accelerometer like we can explain earlier. All the data collected can be easily read through NFC using the associated smartphone ST NFC sensor, for example, when a package transits through a checkpoint. 
Sensor Tunnel Box instead is a Bluetooth low energy sensor node. It has all the sensors we need for an asset tracking application. Motion with a six axis inertial motion unit, a low power three axis accelerometer, a three axis dedicated inclinometer, and a three axis magnetometer. We also have environmental sensors with uh, an altimeter, temperature, and humidity, and uh, uh, the package is completed with an high fidelity analog microphone. We're going to use the development kit unboxed in this application in the pro working mode using the function pack, function pack ATR BLE1 and the dedicated ST asset tracking smartphone app. This software package offers a complete application example on how to create an asset tracking application and record the event like tilt and orientation change or record excursion of temperature and humidity outside a certain range. All of this is configurable from the ST tracking application available from Android and iOS. This app supports the configuration of a cloud dashboard that we'll discuss in the next slide and also supports other connectivity options like Sigfox and NFC with the NFC sensor node we discussed earlier. Having a sensor node connecting to a smartphone app is a nice demo, but what can really jumpstart a proof of concept of an asset tracking end-to-end -end application with BLE is the availability of the cloud dashboard component. ST has built and published the Dashboard Asset Tracking, which is a sandbox application powered by AWS and free for our customer to use and experiment with their sensor node. It's compatible with the two nodes we're discussing today, the NFC tag with the ST NFC sensor app and the sensor tail box with the ST ST tracking app, but also compatible with the Sigfox and the LoRa that I was mentioning earlier and an LTE function pack as well. Say, for example, uh, you bought a very nice bottle of wine from the Columbia Valley, and the shipper keeps them with a sensor tied dot box. I now have a way to know what happened to the box at any given time. Was it left in the sun, kept upside down, exposed to excess humidity? All this information that allows you, the receiver, to know if there is a possibility that the wine was spoiled in transit. Just looking at the dashboard data when I received the package. The experience with the sensor tile box is quite simple, and we invite you to download the function pack from st.com and try for yourself following the quick start guide. Let me try to walk through you. you uh, let me try to walk you through it. If there in the app, I'll insert the credential for the dashboard so that I can create a data flow from the sensors to the cloud. Once the sensor tile box is programmed with the function pack ATR BLE one, we need to use the user button to activate the Blue Energy BLE radio. The board will advertise by default as ATB100, and the name can be changed by the user, and is ready to be connected to the app. Here, the user will select the data of interest. In this example, temperature smaller than 40 degrees Celsius, pressure higher than 900 millibar, humidity less than 90%, and to detect significant motion above 2G. Once I press Save, the kit starts logging sensor data with a timestamp and disconnects from the app. I can now ship my good with the sensor tile dot box. Now, when I receive the package or at any given time during shipping, I can reconnect the sensor tile box to the app pressing the user button. And this works also from a different phone, not necessarily from the original one, as long as I keep the same cloud credentials to connect to the same dashboard user and be consistent with the data flow. Sensor can be updated in the app augmented with the geographic location from the phone and flow to the dashboard. And that will allow me to rebuild the story of the shipment of the good itself. This is a very powerful demo and it shows how a smart sensor capable of monitoring what happens to the good it is attached to can send the data to a central location for remote monitoring. If you're like me, you cannot wait to try this out for yourself. Maybe you're in your next order of a six bottles of wine. 